The two girls were treasures of the current fads. I'm sure if we look at those shows right now, that the fads are just that. I mean, laughable, mm -hmm. but fortunately it was comedy. Did they um, ask for certain things for themselves? or? Oh, I listened to them because after all, they were my eyes and ears into that generation. And I wanted to know what they were thinking. How were they different, the two of them? Um, well, there was about two years difference in age, and in your teens, that's a decade of difference, you know. The, their taste in boys, I'm sure, was very different. Um, and they, they were two different types physically. Valerie, you know, was small and round and feminine, and uh, Mackenzie was tall and, and actually had a kind of elegance about her. I don't remember having any taboos on colors, except that, again, I fought against putting bright, bright colors on any set, because when you think of playing against that overall picture, don't pop out. Be part of your, of your overall picture. And so, it, you know, when you think about it, a lot of times I didn't have time to sketch or swatch or even lay out scenes. You would be working so fast. I built closets for everybody so that if the writers threw in another scene or situation at the last moment, it was like a real family. You would go in and pull from that closet. Now for that reason, generally I would ask an actor their favorite color and I'd also ask them their least favorite color or a color they hated. And I wouldn't try not to put that into their closet. But I would build their closet basically on their favorite color. That way, if you have a scene with five people in it and you have to suddenly pull, you will not have three people in the same shade of blue. It's an interesting way of working on your feet and pulling from a, a rack because particularly that kind of show, you would line up your hanging rack of clothes scene by scene by scene and make sure that you didn't, in other words, that you had interesting colors that played against each other and certainly that you didn't have five people in the same color. And sometimes, you know, when you've got seven changes in a script, that isn't always easy. <laughs> and so the fast way, and I still do it to this day, even when I'm hanging up a film, I like to hang up scene by scene to see what's playing together in that scene.